The Shih Tzu originated in Tibet, China, and the name Shih Tzu translates to little lion. Strange, right? Because Shih Tzus look nothing like lions, but then again, the name lion could be linked to their fluffy coat. Shih Tzus were bred to be companion pets, so they are all about cuddling and know nothing about hunting and pulling sleds. The breed is friendly, affectionate, outgoing house dogs who love to follow their owners from room to room. Shih Tzus have been around now for centuries and have made themselves at home in the laps of many high society people, including emperors. However, there are five things I want to bring to your attention that all Shih Tzu owners must do to ensure the best quality of life for their Shih Tzu, which in turn fosters a healthy and happy relationship with your pet. But, before we get into the furry details, hello and welcome to Animal Digest. If you haven't already, please subscribe to get your weekly dose of pet content. Now let's begin. Here are 5 things all Shih Tzu owners must do for their Shih Tzu dog to foster a healthy and happy relationship. Number 1. You must keep up with their grooming needs. Shih Tzus are a matted mess if they are not brushed and combed on a regular basis. They require daily grooming to keep their coat in good condition. Plus, some Shih Tzus love the extra attention that comes with looking well-groomed, especially when they are complimented on their beautiful appearance. Keep in mind that some Shih Tzus will let you brush them all day long, and some will try to escape. This can be challenging for both dog and owner. To minimize this challenge, it is best to start getting your Shih Tzu accustomed to their grooming routine as soon as he is home, so that he gets used to it. Regardless, you may have to entice your dog with treats. Remember to keep the hair above the eye tied up, to avoid eye irritation. If you are unable to commit to daily brushing, you can choose to keep their coat short, which makes it easier to groom, and also lessens the dog's fear of being brushed. But on the other hand, Shih Tzu has fast-growing hair, so you would have to commit to frequent coat trimming instead, to keep it short. Nonetheless, many owners prefer to keep their Shih Tzu coats long, because of the glamour. In addition, your Shih Tzu is prone to tear stains, which can be removed, or reduced by using a dog eye stain remover. If the tear stain is excessive, consult your vet. Their coat must be shampooed at least once every three weeks, with a pH-balanced shampoo made for dogs, not humans, to avoid potential skin irritations. Number 2. You must provide your Shih Tzu with adequate exercise. Despite the fact that Shih Tzus are mainly indoor dogs, they still need walks and exercise every day. However, because of their small size, they only require a low to moderate amount of exercise in order to burn off energy and keep busy and active. A short walk every day is recommended, but don't worry if you can't take them every day. You can occasionally substitute daily walks for other activities like a game of fetch or running around in a dog park or backyard. Also, you must provide them with interactive toys for toy dog breeds to stimulate their minds and keep them happy. Providing them with adequate exercise also helps them keep their joints and muscles in good shape and also helps them sleep better and strengthens their respiratory system. Number 3. You must be the pack leader and instill discipline. Though adorable and affectionate, Shih Tzus have a highly independent nature and therefore has a tendency to be stubborn. Plus, Shih Tzus can be manipulative as they have their own ways of melting our hearts with their cute faces. But spoiling and pampering your Shih Tzu can lead to a contentious relationship. As the leader of the pack, you must start obedience training as soon as your pup is home in order to help him learn and abide by the rules he is expected to follow. Giving in to their requests and acting inconsistently will end up creating a spoiled and disobedient dog. Through absolute consistency, you must demonstrate that you mean what you say. Treats are a good motivator for Shih Tzus, but if you offer too much, you'll possibly end up with an overweight Shih Tzu, who will only listen when he is being offered a treat. Instead, train your Shih Tzu to appreciate and respect you. A dog that respects you will obey your commands and cease his behavior when you say no. Number 4. You must feed your Shih Tzu high-quality food. To properly care for your Shih Tzu, you must provide him with high-quality dog food. 
Keep in mind that a dog's health, growth, and lifespan are highly determined by its diet. The average 10-pound Shih Tzu requires between 350 and 400 calories per day. If your Shih Tzu weighs less, he requires fewer calories per day, and if he weighs more, he requires more calories per day. Your Shih Tzu should get his daily recommended nutritional needs from a high-quality diet, regardless of calorie requirement. Many Shih Tzus have sensitive stomachs, and a low-quality diet can cause harm and compromise their health over time. Number 5. You must minimize the onset of your Shih Tzu's potential health problems. Shih Tzus have flatter faces and shorter snouts than most dogs, which is linked to breathing problems such as snorting, overheating, and snoring. So, to keep your Shih Tzu from getting respiratory problems too soon, try not to smoke around him and do not use harmful cleaning products in his vicinity or on his accessories. In addition, limit his exposure to allergenic pollen as much as possible. And to avoid heat stroke, you must keep your Shih Tzu cool and hydrated in hot and humid temperatures. In addition, Shih Tzus are also prone to ear and eye issues. And as mentioned earlier, it is important to keep the hair above the eyes tied up to avoid eye irritations and pluck and clean their ears on a regular basis. Additionally, breathing problems can be detrimental to a Shih Tzu, so it is very important that their scheduled visits to the vet are not missed. Although it may seem overwhelming at times, being a responsible dog owner means you must provide your dog with the necessary care to ensure a happy and healthy life. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.